God is speaking again. So what God is saying right now is don't pray and worry. He's still on blessings, y'all. You have to stop praying and worrying. As soon as you release that prayer to God, the windows of heaven are open. You should know that you've already received it. God has already grasped that prayer and he's going to make it happen. A lot of you guys are not receiving what's owed to you, not owed to you, but what's coming, supposed to come to you, what God has promised for you because you're worrying too much. And worry and fear are not of God. So clearly there's a door that's still open. You're saying, you're praying to God, like, God, I need a blessing. God, I need this to happen. But when you worry and you're fearful of losing your place, your account being overdrawn, all you're saying is, God, okay, I prayed it to you. I think I believe you're going to make it happen. I believe you're going to turn it around. But I don't really think so. So I'm still going to worry because I'm not hearing from you. You're not answering me. It's not coming. And that is delaying the process. What I have learned is I change my thought process. I change my way of speaking. And I know that when something is not happening in the time frame that I think it should happen. For example, um, say like you're in debt, right? And the debt is just piling up and piling up. And you're like, God, okay, I just want to pray for debt cancellation. I, I pray that you find a way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, right? Then when it's not happening, what I do is I say, I always... You got to big yourself up, basically. You have to be like, okay, I see this bill here, but this is not my portion. God is not a liar. I know he's going to take care of this for me. I have faith and I know that the reason why it's not happening as quick as I want it to happen is because God wants to wait to the very, very brink of me falling off or the brink of a disaster happening to release a miracle and turn it around so he gets the glory. And you guys, I can honestly say that since I have been, I have shifted my mindset to that. First of all, I've been at peace more. Um, second of all, I don't worry about things that are beyond my control because I know that God has it under control. So once I release that prayer, it's in his hands. God's gonna fight my battles. God's going to take care of everything that I cannot fully take care of in my flesh and in my will. And even if I try to, it's going to fail because if it's not God's will, it can't be done, right? So it's very simple logic. And this takes a lot of intelligence. And this takes a lot of spirituality and faith and just sitting with God and just understanding, not understanding all of his ways, but just knowing that there are very, God gives us a blueprint. There are very basic equations that we can solve to say, okay, if this is like this, and if I do this, then this is going to be the outcome. Just like you learn in math class, right? This is what you have to do with your problems and your issues and everything that you're, you're fighting or you're struggling with. And once you make an equation, you can literally get a piece of paper and make this down. Okay, so... This bill is more is, is a lot. I can't clearly pay this bill. God, here's what I'm asking for. The answer is leave it up to God. You already prayed over it. You already gave it to God. And one thing that I've noticed is every time I've given something to God and let it go, it's come back to surprise me. Like, God just really did that. So... And I'm not saying that I'm perfect at this because I'm constantly working on it because faith is, you know, trusting in God and not even seeing that this is possible or something is possible, but just believing and trusting that God will do it, right? So many times, this that's a hard thing to grasp. So 
there are a lot of times where I look at something I'm like, God, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I know you're going to do it. Like, this is impossible for man, but I know it's possible with you, for you to do. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for you to blow my mind because I know that's how amazing you are, right? And this just makes me a better person, just having this positive outlook on life and just this understanding of how God really works. And that is how I maintain my peace, my composure, and my faith and trust in God because he always delivers. So I just pray that these messages that God has really put on my heart um, really bless you and is a blessing someone out there because it really made a difference in my life. And this is how I pour into people every single day when I'm ministering and I'm counseling them. And it's very hard. And it's important that if this is really difficult for you, that you get a coach that can coach you through your problems, that you can call in the midnight hour, like, listen, the enemy is controlling my mind. Can you just really pour into me? Can you assist me with this? Can you pray with me? Sometimes we need an intercessor, someone that will send up their prayers to God and know that God is going to hear it and answer it. And that's what many Christian coaches are doing today. So if you find that it's difficult for you to really grasp this concept or until you can grasp it, you might need a coach that can help prune you and help mold you into being that person that you want to be. So that way you don't worry as much. So that way your faith is increased and, you know, so many things, your quality of life. God doesn't want us to be stressed. God doesn't want us to be in lack. He wants to give you a great quality of life. And I am a witness I am a walking miracle of that. Like, God has shown me so much. And it's my job to not just hold on to what he's taught me and how he's molded me, but it's my job to take other people under my wing and do the same thing that he's done to me. I just released a video on not just accepting the blessing and not being a blessing to others. These gems that I learned... I have to pass it on because I want to save people. My purpose is to save people, to build people, to save people. So it's not just for me. I need you to understand this, okay? So take those gems. We all got to do better in Christ. We are going to build God's kingdom this year. 2023, we are not half-stepping. We are coming full force in Jesus' name, okay? Talk to y'all soon.